Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the second annual ELHT UCLAN Undergraduate Medical Education Conference. The reason for taking the MBBS course at UCLAN was because I was really passionate about the um, early patient contact that they had. Um, I was really drawn to that, to try and draw those nerves um, early doors. Um, I really enjoyed the facilities as well that UCLAN have and they do have small group classes, um, so it's really good for our learning and development. Lancashire's underdoctored. It's really important that students come. They'll really like the training and want to settle here. And so it's what we call growing your own. When UCLAN approached us about taking medical students, this was a, thought this was a real opportunity. A lot of work has been done. The students started coming for the clinical training in September and they've had a fantastic time. They've done really well. They've really enjoyed it. We've really enjoyed having them. They're coming back for another two more years as we develop them, uh, but it's looking really good. There's no doubt about it, more students coming to an organisation will mean that we'll have to recruit more people to educate those students. But that will be great because as part of our journey with uh, UCLAN, we'll be becoming a university teaching hospital. And this, this will mean that people want to come and work here as well. And so, for example, they start doing research, they'll raise the profile of the organisation. Even though we speak to people every minute of every day, when you suddenly start having to talk to patients, for some reason it's really, really difficult. So there's that just dealing with patients in a clinical setting. But as long as you do it and keep doing it, it becomes second nature. I think certainly to the international students coming to a different healthcare organisation, they'll see things, they'll hear things which are very, very different. I also think students in general going to a new environment and their expectation to behave in a professional manner again is a step up. One of the beauties of this curriculum UCLAN have developed, it is bespoke, it is new, it has not been taken from anywhere else. And the collaboration in developing the curriculum between UCLAN and East Lancashire Hospitals Trust has been such that you're having clinicians and other healthcare workers inputting into the development of that curriculum. So we're getting real doctors, real nurses, saying this is what we want for doctors in the 21st century. Coming from South Africa, having a whole international cohort with you, going through the same steps as you, feeling the same anxiety as you, it kind of made it feel a little bit more easy to adjust. All the skills that we've learned in the lab and in the classroom, all the knowledge we've learned, applying it to real life work, um, going out, seeing how things are done, uh, participating in certain procedures and examining real life patients. Hands on clinical practice, seeing things for the first time, going so close up to surgical procedure. Um, so I think these are all highlights of phase two. Now the MBBS is in its third year, we've got a lot of progress. We've had our first clinical year out there. It's been great. So we've taken the opportunity of looking back at all the years. We've looked at all three years so far and also the planning for years four and five. We've taken that opportunity to make it even better. So we've taken on board the feedback from our teachers, from the students, from the people who give us objective feedback. And we've brought that all into the mix and we're creating a course that's really exciting and taking it forward to the next step. Already we've graduated our first cohort of physician associate students and they've come back to work within the health economy. So they, they've done what we hoped they would do. So if we train them in the health economy in the region, they look for work in the region and they've all got work in the region. I think what we're doing is creating the pipeline uh, of health workers for the future. I worked in healthcare for quite a while and I used to work alongside doctors and I always used to think that I really want that job, that's what I want to do. There's like so many positive things about being a doctor. We will never have 5,000 new GPs. We cannot grow that many in sufficient time. But actually if you what you want is rapid access and you know easily accessible to primary healthcare services at an appropriate time and appropriate place. It's not about throwing more GPs, it's about looking at the whole system. And if you think when I trained, if you had an infarct, a heart attack, you were in bed, we had young men in bed for 28 days with a bedpan and they weren't allowed out of bed at all. And if you think now you can go in and have your stent and you can be back at work within a week. Huge change. As the years progress and I get more opportunities with UCLAN, I'll, I'll see where it takes me. Medicine is something that's challenging but it's rewarding and it's something that is like worthwhile and something I can dedicate my life to. 